Let me start out uh, mentioning that uh, my name is uh, Nils uh, Rytter and I am uh, head of the uh, section for engineering operations management at University of Southern Denmark. I am a participant and uh, project leader, project uh, participant in a number of uh, work packages under the Shipping Lab uh, consortium. And I will today be moderating this uh, workshop uh, um, together with uh, uh, Mr. Magnus Gary, who is the director of uh, the Shipping Lab uh, Project Consortium. Magnus, are you here with us now also? Yes, I am here. Uh, and uh, I would like to, uh, to say thank you, Nils, and uh, welcome you all uh, to this workshop. I'm looking very much forward to it. So um, I'm looking forward to a good day. Thank you. Yes. Should we start out? Magnus, let's maybe start out. It's two minutes past nine and uh, more people are likely to join on the fly, but to keep the schedule, I think it makes sense that we start out now, no? I, I would agree. I like that the meeting start more or less uh, on time, so uh, let's move forward. Okay, so what we have today is a, a little more than, than three hour uh, workshop program where we will uh, uh, touch upon the topic of um, um, what happened here. Did my, is my presentation still there? No. Now, is it back? It seems to, yes, it's back now. Yes, okay. So, so what we have is sort of a little more than three hour program where we will touch upon the, the topic of, of um, standards and um, and digital platforms for for future ship operations. Um, we do that as part of uh, the Shipping Lab project where we have a number of work packages uh, running, uh, which are dealing with uh, digitalization, uh, autonomy and decarbonization of, of uh, Danish shipping. Um, what we have done today is basically to make a program uh, where there will be a short introduction to the to the day, I will try to set the stage of today's uh, uh, presentations and discussions. Then we have a formal introduction of uh, the Shipping Lab project by uh, Magnus, uh, following my introduction, and and then we uh, have invited six speakers uh, from outside uh, to to provide us with an insight into uh, to the the theme of the day. Uh, our keynote speaker is is uh, uh, is from Japan. He hasn't traveled all the way from Japan, but he has logged in uh, from to to our workshop here or logged on to our workshop here from Japan. That's uh, um, uh, Doctor and Director Hideyuki Hideyuki Endo from NYK uh, MCI, uh, who will speak about digitalization as an enabler for safer and greener shipping. Um, he will be followed by an introduction, uh, uh, a presentation by uh, uh, Dr. and uh, adjunct professor Michael Lin, who is a senior strategic um, advisor at RISE, uh, who will talk about maritime informatics and emerging discipline for a digital, connected, efficient, sustainable and resilient industry. We will then have approximately 15 minutes of break where we re resume to, to uh, the four next speakers. First, we have uh, Svea Wange, Head of Digital Solution and Analytics at J. Lauritsen, BV Epic Gas, um, who will provide some insight into how Lauritsen work, on, uh, work on, on, on creating their solutions for digital ship operations. Then we have Mr. Jeppe Skobak, you Manager of, of Maritime Safety and Security at BIMCO, who wants to speak about harmonization and interoperability which are key elements in, in succeeding with maritime digitalization. We will be followed by Professor uh, Hu Xiong Sang, uh, who is working at the NCNU in Olesund and has led a research, uh, or lead, who is leading a research effort uh, that has led to the, the creation of, um, of this open simulation platform to enable uh, further uh, digitalization of, uh, and, and, and sustainability of shipping. Finally follows um, um, Mr. Oystein Goxer, who is from uh, DNB, where he's head of Department of Safety Advisory, and he's a leading person in, in, in DS, DS, um, uh, DNB's effort to create the 
uh, or to, to enable shipping to transform uh, uh, digitally in, in the coming years. Following the, the presentations of the speakers, we will uh, revert to a, a, a discussion in plenum where we will try to make a, a, what we call an online panel debate where the audience uh, can ask questions to the speakers. And uh, this will provide us with an opportunity to, to, to discuss and, and become wiser across the different inputs we have received uh, during the day. Uh, approximately uh, 10 minutes, 15 minutes past 12, we expect to end the session and, and close and wrap up uh, 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 during the, uh, uh, the content of the day. Um, just to set the stage for the event, then you can say that in Shipping Lab we work uh, on transforming ship operations so it becomes more digital and decarbonized. We are trying to uh, support uh, at least Danish shipping uh, in becoming uh, not only in being not only physical and black, but also digital and green. And um, we look upon digitalization as something that also supports the green agenda. The green agenda is not only on about sustainable fuels or new propulsion, alternative propulsion technologies, but it's also uh, about uh, digital solutions that can enable us to, to optimize operations and make shipping more safe and, and uh, resilient and, and, and uh, reduce uh, energy consumption and emissions. Um, what we are doing in Shipping Lab is that we are trying to, to support um, the Danish uh, shipping industry in, in uh, deploying a number of uh, what we call Shipping 4.0 uh, technologies. Uh, here is the framework as it is developed and described by Sinsef in Norway. Uh, and um, we are working on various aspects of implementing those technologies and making sure they they make value for the shipping companies. I will leave it to Maunus to give some further insight into how Shipping Lab works with these particular set of technologies in different work packages. Um, our hope is, of course, or our expectation is, of course, that some of these digital technologies all will, uh, or a variety of digital technologies that we work on, whether it's uh, route optimization, voyage optimization, equipment monitoring and, and analytics um, uh, or something else, uh, Holland propeller performance models um, will all contribute with each their uh, part to, to, uh, to reduction of uh, fuel consumption and emissions. And uh, here are some examples from uh, various studies of how different digital technologies can contribute to to a reduction of uh, uh, fuel consumption and costs in shipping. And uh, we are probably also going to, to come up with some estimates for how our technologies will, will deliver an impact uh, uh, um, as part of the projects uh, and implementations we are running in Shipping Lab. Um, we are now two years into Shipping Lab. We have approximately, I think it's it's a little bit more than one year left uh, for, for most of the projects. And uh, what we can see here is that while we have been executing our projects in Shipping Lab, we have observed that a num number of factors seem to impact the speed of implementation and also the return of investment or uh, efficiency as well, well as the sustainability gains we can get out of our Shipping Lab projects uh, beyond the, the technological innovation we do uh, and we uh, can see that if we have to avoid that one particular uh, set, uh, one or more particular set of technologies become more than just a, a hype and, and a sort of fashion for, for a short while, then we have to make sure that a number of enabling factors are in place that, that enable us to, to extract more value out of the, those technologies and get them implemented and, and uh, adopted uh, in, in the organizations. Um, for example, uh, it's very important that there is some kind of realism about the current state of ship operations when you embark on the digitalization journey. Where are you when you start a project? And, and you must also make realistic plans for how you transform your ship operations in small steps towards achieving some kind of long-term vision for how you make your ship operations more digital and competitive in the future. No? You constantly have to take into account how the digital projects contribute to the strategic uh, 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 priorities of, of the business. It's also very important that, that digitalization efforts, they recognize the many aspects and, and the complexities that needs to be dealt with 
uh, in an integrated manner when you are trying to achieve end-to-end -end, uh, data value change. Um, for example, uh, when you work on, on, on digitalization of various aspects of operations, you typically work, need to work both with data capture on board on the vessel, local storage, connectivity, storage on shore, maybe uh, cloud storage uh, and uh, cyber security aspects, uh, um, but also data cleansing, modeling, um, uh, user interface visualizations, and, and on top of that, maybe also artificial intelligence. So many different aspects needs to be worked with, and there are many cost drivers and cost elements involved in, digitalize, uh, in digitalization aspects that you need to, to come on top with if you are to succeed. And uh, those companies that, that prepare for, for that and have a realistic picture of that are probably more likely to succeed with their projects. Then we can also see that uh, working with digitalization uh, and making shipping more digital is, is a very uh, cross-disciplinary uh, effort. Um, we have different uh, uh, systems um, on board and we need uh, both domain expertise and, uh, and skills and capabilities in, in uh, data science, uh, uh, electronics, uh, um, IoT, and so on, to be able to succeed. And we need to work in using project management methods that uh, are inspired by agile methods. We need uh, good, capable project leaders that can integrate the different technologies and disciplines and skills that are required to succeed. And we also need team-based problem solving capab capabilities that can deal with the obstacles we meet when we have to succeed in practice. Um, we know that it's not only about technology. We now we spoke a lot about technology and digital solutions, but it's also about making the processes uh, uh, work better uh, in daily operations and also uh, getting people on board to succeed with efforts. And then, not to uh, to forget here, we have also observed a number of other factors that have that we see as relevant for at least the the long term digitalization effort and its success in the shipping companies. And um, and these are also, uh, some of these are mentioned here, for example, data availability and quality is key for, for what we do when we talk about automation, autonomy, or, uh, or for example, artificial intelligence uh, um, or other types of models that we work with to optimize operations. Um, one thing that we have discovered is that standards for data capture and exchange is, is critical uh, uh, to make sure that uh, the uh, the return on investment is is uh, is good when you work on on not only one vessel but multiple vessels and solutions have to adopt to to uh, to to not only one but multiple vessels with different uh, um, um, solutions on board and uh, setups on shore and so on. Then the more standardized uh, um, interfaces you have for data capture and exchange, the more you and and storage, the more you can also um, uh, uh, reduce your cost of implementation. Um, inter interoperability of systems and application is key. Also, we have more and more applications on board on shore that are developed to optimize operations, and we need to enable these to uh, speak together in a, an efficient way, communicate together if we want to, to uh, optimize our operations. Something that has also come up is, is the, the aspect of data sharing and digital platforms, where we must uh, we also can see that uh, more and more in, uh, uh, innovations are coming in, in place. Digital marketplaces are existing and being brought in, into action, and, and they also seem to play a role for the future, which we hope to be able to know more about today. And finally, there is some kind of need for inter international collaboration between uh, various ship operators, but also across multiple players in the maritime ecosystem, customers, uh, suppliers, and so on, to succeed in the long term and, and reduce the the investment uh, investments required and uh, and um, uh, improve the likelihood of of, of uh, success for projects and and the purpose of the workshop today uh, is actually very much to put light on some of the the aspects I have marked here with red. Um, we are now two years into the project, two years into the project, and we uh, hope to become uh, inspired by inviting a number uh, of guest speakers uh, from outside our consortium that can uh, provide us with additional input on how these things should be taken into account uh, when we uh, are uh, running our projects and uh, making ship operations more uh, automated, autonomous or digital 
and even decarbonized uh, here in Denmark. And that is what uh, uh, is the story behind the program that we have put together. And uh, I would now like to uh, uh, hand over to uh, Mr. Magnus Gary, who is our project director, who will give a brief introduction to shipping that. 